Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, beloved family of God. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us on a Saturday night. Boy, we have an action-packed worship service. Hallelujah. And glory to God, don't we always? It's all Holy Spirit. Amen. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, that you love us. Thank you, Father God, that we are eternally yours. Thank you, Father. Glory to you. Oh, I miss you so much, family. Praise God. I know we all miss each other. Thank you so much for the text, the messages. Um, thank you, above all, for all the prayers, for your life of worship. Thank you so much for blessing Lord Jesus Christ the way that you do. And the only way we know how is to thank our Heavenly Father for a good and perfect Savior. Amen? A perfect Savior. Hallelujah. Is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Because mine is. Hallelujah. He is perfect, and I just thank God Almighty that he gave us his everything. Say with me, everything. Hallelujah. On the cross. Amen. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. And in worship today, in, 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 in devotional, and in, you know, just going into your secret place, Holy Spirit said, I want, I want this world to welcome me. And so there's no better, there's no gooder title than to just say, welcome, Holy Spirit. Amen. Can you say that with me, church? Welcome, Holy Spirit. And glory to God, I know you have. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. It's all because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ, our Lord, that because of his holy name, because of submitting everything unto him, glory to God, the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father sent Holy Spirit to dwell in us for all of eternity. Amen. Glory to God. And this is why we rejoice. Amen. We rejoice. We do not act like this world acts. Amen. It's just gooder and gooder. Amen. Because it's His presence. Say that with me. His presence. And so I just thank Lord Jesus Christ for a fresh anointing. Amen. Before we start, I just need to be obedient to what Holy Spirit is telling me right now. And we're just going to pray. Amen. And I ask for your prayers as well. But pray however Holy Spirit leads you to pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so, so, so much, Father God, for Lord Jesus Christ, our perfect, beloved Savior. There is no name greater than your name, Lord Jesus. And we're so thankful, Lord Jesus Christ, that you crucified your flesh, that you laid down your perfect life so that we can be in your body. And Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for all of eternity we worship you saying, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Lord Jesus Christ, it's because of your perfection. Everything, everything revolves around your word, Heavenly Father. And your living word is Lord Jesus Christ. Your living word in us through agape is you, Holy Spirit. And all we know to do, Father, is to lift up your holy name. So Lord Jesus Christ, as I plead your blood, I thank you that you give us the anointing, the power through your Holy Spirit to bind up every demonic principality. And I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you loose your anointing in every one of your beloved children through your Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for everyone who has ears to hear, that they may hear your living word like never before, Father. I thank you, Father God, that we are your temples, that we are your beloved children, that we are your church, Father God, your holy people, that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit that goes before us, Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you. And I ask you, Father God, to bless us with your word. This is your word, Father. This is your testimony. This is your power, and all of it is for your glory, Father God. I want none of it. Rebuke me, Father. Use me as a mouthpiece, and anyone else who would bring your anointed message through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and the anointing power of your Holy Spirit. And bless every soul, Father God, that has tuned into this message. Bless them, Father, with a fresh revelation from heaven. And we thank you for it, Father. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. This is your life. This is your temple. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Your every breath. And Holy Spirit, we just want all of you 
And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Rejoice. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Is he ready for this? Say amen. Okay. Praise God. These are the books. <laughs> These are the books that we're going to get into. Praise God. And yes, I know it's a Saturday night and it's like, man, Saturday evenings are normally half an hour. Praise God. But as you know, just being the only one in the physical building, I know we're one in spirit, we're one in the body of Christ. There's millions of us, amen? But physically just being here by myself, I, I, I laugh. And, and I'll tell you, I just confess to you right now, I was like, I feel like that Home Alone movie, you know what I mean? Where um, the grown-ups are gone and you just run around the house and everything. I'm just, I'm just so happy and I rejoice with you that nothing will stop Worshiping God. Amen. Nothing. Nothing will stop giving glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing will stop Holy Spirit in you and in me. Nothing. In Jesus' name, nothing. May I ask you what stopped Lord Jesus when he walked on this earth? Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. Amen. And glory to God that Lord Jesus Christ, our agape himself said, it, greater things you will do because I go back to my Father. Amen. And we don't want to jump ahead, praise God. But let me just list out these things. Now, glory to God, we have this messages and all our messages for now in this season on YouTube. So it gives you the ability to just pause. <laughs> I know that's goofy. But you can pause the video and you can write down the scriptures. And Holy Spirit just wants us to be not only in intimacy with Him, of course, that's above everything, in a relationship, speaking to the Father, right? Confessing, repenting, laying things down. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, I just, I just want to know you e even, even gooder today than yesterday. I, I don't care about yesterday. That's dead and gone. I, today is the day. Amen. Say that with me, church. Today is the day. Hallelujah. Today is the day. Oh, hallelujah. You can just feel God Almighty going, yes, my child. Yes, my child. Hallelujah. So I encourage you to write down these, these, these scriptures here. So when Holy Spirit blesses you with, you know, just, just a, a moment of reflection to go back into the written word, the gooder and gooder it is, is that as you read that word, it doesn't matter, you know, just like I do. It doesn't matter how many times you read a scripture, if you think you memorize it, Holy Spirit, say his name. Holy Spirit is our teacher, amen? And he will teach us everything, and it's always gooder and gooder. It's always a refreshing to our soul, amen? So we're going to be in John 14, Deuteronomy 6, 1 Corinthians 2, Matthew 22, Mark 12, Luke 10, John 13, 1 Corinthians 2, and we're going to finish up in John. And you'll see, because Holy Spirit, He is our teacher. He puts everything together. Glory to God. You can ask Pastor John. Holy Spirit does it all. All we do is we be obedient and we try our best to. That's why we thank God. We beg you for your prayers. Hallelujah. Pray for us. Pray for all your leadership. Amen. Pray for our church body. Hallelujah. And, and, and it's his presence. Hallelujah. That pulls us through. Amen. And I'm just so excited as far as what God has for us tonight. Amen. Let's get into it. Praise God. If you love me, keep my commands. Hear me now. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate. To help you and be with you forever. And as you know, Lord Jesus Christ made this as clear as he could possibly make it. Can I hear an amen, church? Lord Jesus Christ said, listen, I have fulfilled every requirement of the law. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only one that can fulfill all the commandments that we, the bondage that we put on ourselves, Lord Jesus Christ came from heaven, amen, to free us from that. And he simplified everything. Because as you know, as Lord Jesus Christ lived on this earth, he showed the relationship that God always wanted with his children. And isn't it amazing that Lord Jesus Christ, he, he overflowed with this anointing. Say that with me, anointing. Lord Jesus Christ overflowed with this because that's what God always wants with all of his children. Amen? With you and me, 
God, I know you know. Hallelujah. I know who I'm talking to, beloved. Listen, I know God is all over you. He's all over your life. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. You know, you never thought you could live a life in such abundance, no matter what this world is going through, to be free. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Free. To be free from sin and allow Holy Spirit to sanctify the temple. Amen. And don't you love it that Lord Jesus Christ lived this way? He, he, he manifested agape within. Hallelujah. And he showed this world what God always wanted from the very beginning. I just want you to be my child. Amen. And isn't it beautiful that what, when we thought that the garden was dead and gone, right? When we thought that the garden was dead and gone because we messed up, right? Because Adam messed up, right? Here is God in his everlasting, everlasting grace and mercy through Christ our Lord. That he would take the garden from heaven and bring it. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you have Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, guess where the garden is? Yeah, you nailed it. Many of you are doing it right now. Right here. The Holy of Holies. Amen. So here Lord Jesus says, if you love me, please family, listen. Listen to what God is saying. If you love me, forget about all this. Right? We see it time and time again in the Bible, all this talk, right? And Lord Jesus says, if you really love me, keep my commands. And then this is the validation of being a child of God. Because if you keep Lord Jesus Christ's commands, then Heavenly Father, say with me, Father God. Hallelujah. You call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Father God says, mine. The Holy Spirit seals you, you and me. Hallelujah. For all of eternity. Amen. And don't you love it? An advocate. Amen. An advocate. Praise God. He is our advocate. So we're going to go back to Deuteronomy. Now Deuteronomy, as you know, is in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant. And this is what it says. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Okay. Now we have to keep in mind, these are all the books. I know, I know you can't read it at home. I just wanted to show real quick. And Deuteronomy is the fifth book down, right? And it, what God wanted to show us to just expose the enemy and to expose as far as how life was before Lord Jesus Christ. This was the law, the Mosaic law, as far as loving God with all your soul, heart, and strength, right? So I put a question mark there because, once again, we're going to expose as far as how it used to be, say with me, before. This is before Lord Jesus Christ come, okay? And this is what it looked like. And I'm just going to press, I'm just going to click through so you can see. The flesh and the soul, what the Bible is talking about, your heart and your soul. In the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament... This was how you would have your strength in trying to continuously, continuously, now hear me now, continuously try to do a work in following regulations. Do you hear what I'm saying? When the law was, when the law was issued, right, now there was a set law and regulations, and by your own strength, right, by your own strength, in your heart and in your soul, you would do the very best you can to make sure that you do not break a law because nobody wants to break a law, right? But it proved time and time and time again, we are imperfect. There's only one perfect one. What's his name? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But even though we continue to fail, this was the law. And so it would continue to condemn God's people because regardless if you try to love God with all your soul, with all your heart, and with all your strength, the end result was you still failed. You're a sinner. Do you see what I'm saying, family? Amen? And this is what happened because remember, we're in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament now. This spirit man was not a part of the equation. This is the natural man. Say that with me. The natural man. And what you see here on the screen is what happens when you try to rely on your own strength, okay? You try to rely on your own strength, and you have all these thoughts going on in your mind, right? 
And they're not good thoughts. They're not the gooder and gooder thoughts. Remember, because Lord Jesus Christ didn't come. The sacrifice of God, the perfect one, hallelujah, the perfect Lamb of God has not come. We're in Deuteronomy now, amen? Please understand this, family, that this is where we were at before Lord Jesus Christ. And so to obtain a relationship with God was impossible. Why? Because it was based on our strength. It was based on how our soul's condition was and how our heart was. And the word of God just said it, right? And this is the natural man because when you try hard, how many of you have been here on the times when we had worship service? And if you recall, it probably was a year ago. I don't know. The time just bleeds together. Amen. Glory to God. We're getting out of here in the next half an hour. Hallelujah. But if you recall, I said, don't think of a pink flying elephant, right? Don't think about it. And then on the screen, we had so many pink elephants, right? Pink pigs and el whatever it was flying through the screen, right? And then afterwards, we just had fellowship and talked about it, right? How hard was it not to think about it? Well, you just start thinking about it, right? Even right now, as I say that, some of you are thinking about a pink flying elephant. And that's just from hearing. It. But could you imagine what not only hearing, but you see? And now it's just like, oh my goodness. What, the, what, what happens? What manifests? It's fear from the enemy. It's fear of failure. It's fear from insecurity. It's fear from judgment and all that stuff, right? And this is what the enemy wants to expose in our life. Fear. The enemy wants to, the enemy wants to try to distract you with anything he can that you will bite on whatever that distracts you enough and he knows, ah, oh, I found fear in you. Right? And this is why Lord Jesus said, just fear God. Amen? Agape. Amen? Don't test God Almighty. Hallelujah? Don't test agape. Amen? Say that with me. Don't test agape. Hallelujah? You see, the enemy has ears to hear. Amen? And when you call on Father, Spirit, and Son, oh, hallelujah, watch out. Amen? Because you could feel the anointing. You could feel the ocean just going through you. Right? You could feel it. You could feel all his angels right now, just clearing it, clearing the way, amen? Hallelujah. Give God praise, amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? So having said the natural man, here in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 14, the natural man does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, amen? For they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them. Because they are spiritually discerned. What does that look like? Let's go back to the illustration here. And remember, this is before Lord Jesus Christ. And this is exactly the way it was. This is what it looks like. Being spiritually discerned, there is no such thing as far as having the Holy Spirit anointing through Christ. Because Lord Jesus Christ hasn't come yet. Amen? And so this was the subject of having the mind of the flesh. Say that with me. The mind of the flesh. And the mind of the flesh is against the mind of the spirit. The mind of the flesh wants to please the flesh and the soul. But the mind of the spirit only wants to please, hallelujah, agape, amen? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen? So let's get into Matthew 22. Now you're going to see in this middle section, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And that's why Holy Spirit had these books lined up the way he did for our worship service this evening. Is that we're going to go into all four books in what God said the commandment is that we must follow as his beloved children to welcome, hallelujah, say it with me, welcome Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus declared, love the Lord your God with all your heart. And with all your soul and with all your, say it with me, mind. Here is a difference now. Can I get a hallelujah? Here is a difference now. Say it with me, now. The difference now is, here comes Lord Jesus Christ. And now as you know, after he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights in the desert, laid the smackest down on Satan himself, right? And when he came out that desert, when he come out that desert, right? He started to preach, repent. Say that word with me, repent. Repent means change your mind. See, many people think, oh, that means change your direction. No, the change of direction manifests 
after changing your mind. You see what I'm saying? You don't say repent and go, okay, well, no, it don't work like that. When you say repent, it's change your mind. Hallelujah. So we change our mind. And check this out. I just wanted to read you the other books of the gospel. Here it is in Mark. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Hallelujah. In Luke 10, 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. What about in beloved John? Amen. Now remember, we got to pause right here. Because I love the way brother John writes. Amen. The beloved of God. Right? The beloved. He is the beloved, right? And don't you love it when a child of God has that intimacy, that relationship, where he don't care how everybody else writes. He's going to write, listen, I'm God's favorite. I'm his beloved. Amen? Hallelujah. Say that with me. I'm his beloved. I am his favorite. Hallelujah. Don't you love knowing that you are the apple of God's eye, that you're the twinkle in his eye? Don't you love knowing that, that God is for you and he loves you? Hallelujah. Don't you love that, that God, oh my goodness, all you got to do is thank him for everything he did through Christ and the anointing of Holy Spirit in you will rebuke anything and everything that the enemy is trying to do. Can I get an amen? That is our father now, amen? Remember, that's how a father loves his child, amen? And we have a good and perfect father. He is God Almighty, amen? And so listen to what beloved John writes. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know you are my disciple if you love one another. Three times. Glory to God, three times he repeated it. Love one another, love one another, love one another. Hallelujah. Isn't it beautiful that the word of God, Lord Jesus Christ, he is the word of God, he is the living word of God through us, amen, would say that love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, amen, and let's look into that, praise God, because this is what God wanted to show us. When you talk about the New Testament, immediately right away, glory to God, everything is centered around the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Everything, everything is centered around agape. Everything, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? Isn't it beautiful? He's the middle in between the two. Praise God, sandwich between them. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? And this is what God wanted to show in this message and how we move forward. Praise God, say it with me, in this new season. We're in a new season, hallelujah, a new season of blessings and breakthrough. The thing that we need to be aware of is that Lord Jesus Christ, he has been with God from the very alpha, from the beginning. He is God. But unfortunately, whether it's because of religion, whether it's because of, 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 of various teachings or whatever, unfortunately, the perception is, is that Lord Jesus Christ came when he started his life on this earth. And I'm going to tell you right now, that is a lie from the pit of hell. Lord Jesus Christ has always been in the beginning and the end. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. He is our God. You cannot separate them. Can I get an amen? Glory to God. Not too long ago, we just went through how Holy Spirit hovered, right? And God spoke Jesus. Amen. And Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, boom. We serve a faith God. Say that with me. A faith God. What is faith? Believe and speak. Amen. Believe. Right? Believe. Faith. Believe is my mind is made up. My holy of holies. It's, it's in agreement. Hallelujah. And I speak. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Believe and speak. That's 2 Corinthians 4.13. So you see that the life of Lord Jesus Christ up to his death on that cross. Amen was eternal. Can I get an amen? It was forever. However, we put this little dot right here because it shows the life of when Lord Jesus Christ came to this earth. Amen? When Lord Jesus was born of a virgin birth. Amen? Virgin Mary. Amen? And so we got to understand this, that that dot just represents the life and the death of Lord Jesus Christ. See, what we got to keep in mind is that Lord Jesus was there in Deuteronomy, when he issued that law. Can I get an amen? 
And why would Lord Jesus Christ speak that law into existence? Because he was the one that already performed it to perfection. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, we cannot, we cannot bring God down to our human level. He is God Almighty. All we can do is trust his anointing, give thanks to the perfect one, bless Holy Spirit, give thanks to a perfect God who loves us, who's for us, who goes before us and destroys the plots of the enemy. And hallelujah, you just receive the blessings of the Lord. Can you hear an amen? Glory to God. Amen. So now let's get into 1 Corinthians. We're going to see how this applied to the church of Corinth and how the apostle Paul taught it as he pastored the new covenant church. Amen. The spiritual man judges all things, but he himself is not subject to anyone's judgment. Can I get an amen for that? For who has known the mind of the Lord as to instruct him? You ready for this? Brace yourself for this. Praise God. But we, read that with me, but we have the mind of Christ. Thank you, Father God, for your wisdom. We ask you for wisdom, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Beloved church, say with me, welcome, Holy Spirit. Lift your hands with me. God knows, hallelujah. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Bless us, Father God, with a fresh anointing. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the only one worthy. And Father, you have all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Hallelujah. And this is the mind of Christ. We're going to show you here on the screen. Because what we identified earlier was the natural man. So we're going to get rid of the natural man. And let's just say you died in Lord Jesus Christ. Now you know that you are the body. Hallelujah. Say with me. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so no longer is the spirit man ignored. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Right. It took Lord Jesus Christ coming, fulfilling that law. Every bit of the law, every little jot and tittle, the word of God says, every little bitty, bitty, little apostrophe, every little bitty thing, Lord Jesus Christ fulfilled it to perfection. There ain't nothing lacking in my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. All the authority in heaven on earth is to my Lord Jesus Christ. Everything submits to the name above every name. Hallelujah. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. Amen. Ain't no demon in hell can stand against the name. Ain't nothing. Ain't no virus. Ain't no disease. Ain't no sickness can come against my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So check this out. Now that we have the mind of Christ, look at, whoo, hallelujah. Whoa, look at, look at the spirit man. Amen. This is Holy Spirit in you and me now. We are the temple of God. Amen. And this is what it looks like having the mind of Christ. Amen. Say it with me, spirit of truth. In John 14, verse 17, this is the spirit of truth as you just saw on that screen. Let me back up so you can see that. This is the spirit of truth. Holy Spirit, through the truth, through the truth of Lord. Say it with me, through the truth. I know that's a hard one to say. Holy Spirit, through the truth of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the manifested spirit of truth. This is you. Hallelujah. Beloved child of God, this is me. Praise God for all of eternity. This is, this is us. Amen. And this is the spirit of truth. So let's get into John 14. The spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he lives with you. And check this out. Read this last part with me. Oh, hallelujah. And will be in you. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So where is all the power in heaven right now? Where is the anointing of heaven? Amen. Where is the resurrection power? Amen. Where is the life speaking power? Hallelujah. In you, beloved child of God. In you. Oh, hallelujah. In me. Praise God. If you don't want that blessing, look. If you don't want that blessing, I'm going to reach in right now. And I'm going to take it. Amen. Oh, there ain't nothing there. Hallelujah. I know why. Because God's beloved child's like, nope, that's all mine. My Lord Jesus Christ did it for me. And I received it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue on. Whew. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will reside. <coughs> Sorry. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Glory to God. How grateful are we? Amen. It's so encouraging to hear church family just text and say, Rejoice! You know, and glory to God, because God sees all your texts. God sees everything you do on social media. God is God, amen? God sees everything that you do. A lot of people get upset when I preach this. I don't care. I don't care. You take it up with Holy Spirit. You go, you go to the altar. You repent. Fall. If you're doing something wrong, that's between you and God. I'm not judging you, but I'm telling you, God Almighty knows everything. Can I get an amen? And we have to be accountable. And the only way we can be accountable, amen, is to bless Holy Spirit in us. Praise God. See, you're allowed to live this life any way you want to live. Well, Brother Joey, why do you say that? Because God gave you free will. You can live this life as a child of God. Jesus Christ is your Lord. You can live it in complete bondage. That's up to you. That's up to you. But I will tell you that when you live a life that way, when you hear the truth spoken, not only from the written word of God, but through the anointing of Holy Spirit, and you get mad, and you get offended, and you just... God himself is trying to break through. And he's asking you, will you just give that to me? Family, you can hate me all you want. You can persecute me. I don't care. I don't. All I care about is that trumpet going off. Amen. And being ready. All I care about is standing before my Lord Jesus Christ. And for my God to know everything that Joey Kerengan has done in obedience. He'll know my disobedience. He'll know my pride. He'll know everything. But I pray that I could just stand before him and say, I tried my best, Father. In everything, I tried my best. And I can stand before you right now as your brother telling you that's where I'm at with the Lord. I tried my best. And glory to God, it may not be good enough, but God just wants our best. Amen? Amen? Because you know what? He is the one that will do and finish the perfect work. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen? Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen? Whoever has my commands and keeps them, say that with me, keeps them, is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not, as, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey, say that word with me, obey, will obey my teaching. Don't you love the magnitude, just, just the content of what Lord Jesus Christ said just right there in that one, that one part? Just that one sentence. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Which means it's not just a written word. It's the living word spoken from God. Released through Lord Jesus Christ. Through the anointing of Holy Spirit. In you and in me. And for conviction after conviction to take place. Repentance after repentance. Thus means sanctification upon sanctification. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. That means overcome, overcome. Victory after victory. Ultimately, that means glory after glory. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Glory after glory. Amen. My Father will love them and we will come to them. Say that again with me. We. Who's we? Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, say his name with me, Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Can I get an amen, church? 
When God says out of the mouth of agape himself, Lord Jesus Christ, do not let. Beloved family, I need us to, to pause right here for a moment. When God says do not let, that means God has given you the anointing. Say it again, anointing. God has given you the anointing to stop, to rebuke, or to allow. The power is in you. Amen? The power is in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say that with me. The power of Holy Spirit is in me. Amen. Glory to God. So we talked about the life. Remember, it's from the very beginning. Lord Jesus was always with the Father. Just like Holy Spirit was always with the Father. They are the Alpha and the Omega, the great I Am. Say that with me, I Am. Hallelujah. That's our Father now, amen? So we talk about that whole life. That little dot right there just signifies as far as when Lord Jesus Christ came, amen? That little dot right there on death is when he, he was crucified. The perfect death of Lord Jesus Christ. And then this continues on to, as you guys know already what this next dot is. This is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you hear an amen? The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now from that, dot, that, from that point on, that's for all the rest of eternity. Where we are at as a new covenant church. Amen. And these are the rest of the books that I just wanted to put it up there. See, Holy Spirit wanted this laid out because I asked God. I said, why did you want me to lay it out like this? And God says, I want to just lay out as far as the importance for my holy church to know. The, the difference between not only just Old Covenant and Old Testament and the New Covenant and the New Testament, but what God wanted to show was how everything is centered in Christ. And God wants to ask us, ask you, beloved child of God, where do you stand? You see, I pray that you stand in the green. Amen. When I say in the green, that means everything, hallelujah, everything that my Lord Jesus Christ did for me. Everything, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, agape, hallelujah, Father. I believe the Holy Bible from front to back. Amen. But what God wanted to point out and expose the enemy is that there's a lot of his children that hover in between the yellow and the blue. And don't get me wrong, in between the yellow and blue, yes, you're in the life of Lord Jesus Christ, right? You're, 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 you're in the New Testament. You know, you're learning a lot about the New Testament. You're going back to the Old Covenant. And yes, you, could, you, know, you know a lot about the Old Covenant. But what we have to be careful about is that Lord Jesus Christ rose again. Can I get a hallelujah? And it's in that resurrection that the new covenant church, praise God, was propelled. Amen. That the new covenant church, that the anointing, hallelujah, the fire. Amen. That Lord Jesus Christ said, here, go. Amen. You could feel it. You could feel it in you. Right? That Lord Jesus Christ said, it is finished. Go. And that's us. Right? And so we need to make sure that we communicate effectively to all of our family, our friends, right? Anyone that Holy Spirit leads you to minister to. Amen. That Lord Jesus Christ was from the beginning to the end, just like Holy Spirit. And what God is expecting of us is to receive him fully, not just partially, right? You can't just be a new covenant Christian and not know God's character in the old covenant, old testament. It doesn't work that way. Why? Because God, through the Old Covenant, Old Testament, He clearly states, can I get an amen? He clearly states what displeases Him. He clearly states what He's against. He clearly puts it out there, amen? And of course, Lord Jesus Christ comes in the New Testament. And the Lord Jesus Christ says, listen, all this stuff that you've been putting on yourself, I am here to fulfill it and free you from that. But this is what you need to know. Change your mind. The God that you have perceived is not a God like that. My God is a good father. He loves me and he's good and perfect. And all he wants is this relationship with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. 
And of course, this is the ultimate. I love that picture that came up there. I don't know if you saw that right there in that resurrection picture. It's living the abundant life through Christ. Amen. Living this life in submission to Lord Jesus and allowing his anointing, allowing God to use you in every capacity. Amen. And of course, this right here, Holy Spirit, allow me to put it up there. This is just an overlay of the life, death, and resurrection, but it's in a beloved child of God. Amen. Say it with me. I have a soul. Say it with me. I am the temple. Say it with me. I live in the body. Amen. And this is what this shows right here. When you have the soul, when you have the soul of God, listen, when you know the character of God, it's because you know agape. You know God the Father that loves His children, that He sent His beloved Son to die for everybody's sins. Everybody's sin now. He died for every soul. He died for this world. He died to pay for this world. Amen? Every soul. Every soul. God would want them all. Amen? But it's our choice. But if you choose, amen, if you choose to adopt, hallelujah, this soul, this character of God, then you know that Lord Jesus Christ wasn't left in the ground. That Lord Jesus Christ did the perfect work and the anointed Holy Spirit rose him from the grave. See, when agape manifests in every, ooh, hallelujah, in every part of you, say with me, you overflow. Amen? And this is overflowing through the anointing of Holy Spirit. This is having the resurrection power in you. This is knowing that I am in the body of Christ. I'm no longer flesh. This, this means that if a thought comes your way, whether it was forced or by accident, that you submit that thought to Lord Jesus Christ, and you just, you not only feel, amen, because we don't, we don't worship based on feeling, we worship based on trust. And we trust in our Lord Jesus Christ that when you submit that thought, Holy Spirit's anointing, say it with me, come on church, anointing, say it with me, welcome, Holy Spirit, and you just feel the anointing of God flood you in Jesus' name, amen. I pray that this message bless you. I pray that in Jesus' name, that the anointing of Holy Spirit is flooding your heart as always in every worship service. Amen. Glory to God. Isn't it beautiful that no matter who's preaching, whether it's pastor, myself, whoever it is, it's all to worship Lord Jesus Christ, lift up his holy name, to bless our Heavenly Father. The only way we know how is to say thank you, Father God, for the perfect sacrifice that you nailed to the cross for your blood that was spilt through the Holy One. Amen. And it's in that anointing that when you thank God and you rejoice, and you rejoice, when you rejoice, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, Holy Spirit in the temple, glory to God. Holy Spirit's light, agape, would attract every angel, every good and perfect thing. Amen. And I just speak that over you in Jesus' name. Say it again, church. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you again so, so much for joining us tonight. Uh, I miss you so much. Uh, just keep everybody lifted up in prayer. Praise God. If you get a chance, visit us at oacchurch.com. And um, once again, thank you so much for being a blessing. Thank you for being the miracle. Hallelujah. God is head over heels in love with you. I just thank God that we are one in Christ Jesus and we are eternally his through Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Amen. God bless you. Mwah.